Well, I'm just saying to Nigel, a real team performance there, and, and that's a trademark tram here at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, look, we had to dig in for the whole 90 minutes, and obviously to concede from the set piece to make it 1 1 obviously not ideal. We're going into half time. Probably a, the better team in, in every department, and you know, the second half was, was a lot better from us. Obviously, at half time, you know, we've got a game plan and, and we stuck to it and turned the game round and, and then held on at the end. Started the game really well, and, and you had sort of half chances, didn't you, before you took the lead? Yeah, as I say, we, we, we created so many chances, and you know, we've got to put them away, but we didn't. Um, and look, they, they probably had one chance, which the goal come from, um, you know, and that, that's football, but. Again, as you say, we, we created enough in the first and second half to warrant a win, and, and we did. Difficult to single out players today, but I know you, you all wanted Robbie Apton to come back, the fans wanted him to come back, and, and he is an influential player for you, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. It's, you know, he's a ball carrier, so it helps us get up the pitch, especially away from home when you, know, you might have to dig your heels in and, and soak up a bit of pressure. And, you know, as you see, the goal he cuts in his left and, and he puts it in the far corner, which a lot of his goals have come from. And you know, Teams are looking at him thinking, what can we do? But... You know, sometimes he might not be his best, but today he, he was good and a great finish for him. Leading the line, I mean, does that help you as well when you know it gets at Robbie's feet, he's, he's going to run the defence and you can make your runs as well? Yeah, we, you know, it's just creating relationships with the, with, with the wingers and, you know, Geno or whoever plays up front. Um, you know, the more we work on that in training, the, the more time we have, the more it's, it's getting better and to try and get a more dangerous areas to, to score more goals. And you're not afraid to be physical yourself and to upset the opposition and get in their faces as well. That's part of your role, isn't it? Yeah, when I have to. Um, obviously, you know, we, we, we've all got to dig in. And if that's what means, you know, being a bit of time at times or, you know, just being there for, you know, it is a battle in centre half, like to get in battle. So, you know, you've got to stand your ground and, and give it back at times, haven't you? And the ball comes forward as well, you know, pretty quickly as well, you know, with, with Brad Walk, you know, Regan Hendry in the centre there, you know, they want to get the ball wide or even if you're making a run, they're looking for you. It, it's great to have that confidence of the players playing passes towards you. Yeah, as I go back to, to my point with, with relationships building, obviously Brad and Regan, you know, we know what, what, what they can do. The range of passing was very good. Even Jordan and Tom mm -hmm. at the back, you know, it's them little balls in behind where... You know, if a team keeps a high line, it's 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 an opportunity for us to get beyond and create chances. So yeah, no, it's just building relationships and understanding what people's strengths are. And the boss was saying as well, you know, you're working a lot on things on the training ground, and he really smiles when he sees those things coming to fruition on the pitch today. You're saying again, you know, a lot of the work that you're doing up top, he's seeing. Yeah, that you know, it's it's probably nothing better for a manager to see than you know stuff we're working on coming coming off on the pitch and for the players as well. You know, trust in the process. Doing things which we practice, you know, we, we will make mistakes, but nine times out of ten, hopefully getting it right, even if that means turning the ball over, but getting in dangerous positions to, to, to press them and, you know, make them kick it off for a throw in or gain territory, you know. You seem like a really happy group at the moment and really engaging with the fans as well. Yeah, you know, it was difficult to start the season and the fans stuck with us, and again now when, when things are going well, the fans are with us again, so, you know, we've got to take the good with the bad and, you know, stick, stick, stick together because, you know, we, we will we will get better and we will obviously do a lot more with, with, with a good unit. A couple of setbacks, obviously, you know, at Barrow, rather unfortunately, and then and then Don's late on as well. But, you know, you, you've had a week off and you've, you've come back and you've shown that that togetherness is still there. Yeah, obviously it went ideal last week with Swindon being off. We just want games at the moment to play because we do believe that we've, we've got a good group together and we can keep rolling results, even away from home, which obviously... It's important for us because we haven't been good enough at getting results away from home. But hopefully we can start to see, you know, we've turned the page hopefully in 2024 and we're going to pick up a lot more points on the road than what we did in, in 23. You've helped with that with your, your goal at Harrogate certainly and you feel yourself sort of match-wise and sharp as you play more games now that, that you're getting sharper and sharper. Yeah, I mean for everyone, you know, we just want to play games and the more games you can put together, the fitter you feel. Obviously it's difficult when, when you're not playing, you know, to, obviously you've got it, you can train all you want but it's not a match, is it? Um, so to, to be on the pitch for as long as I can is what I want. And, you know, even for 10 minutes at the, at the end, Christine comes on and, and run, runs about, you know. So that's what we need. We need a team together and, you know, everyone, everyone grafting for each other. And 17 games to go. It, it's all very tight in, in the middle of this division at the moment. So just game by game, is that what the boss is saying? And let's see where we end up. Yeah, that's all we can do. Try and pick up as many points as we can, game by game. You know, not getting too far ahead of ourselves, but we do believe we can do something. And, you know, we've got to try and do that and give our all every game.